Okay, good morning, Robert. This is Clyde. I just wanted to sh send you this video real quick. Um, this On the side of this controller, there's the mode button, and I'm going to be pushing it and get it to um, go through all the different modes so that you can see what your tree is going to look like. This is the little mini pixie, pixel tree that I made uh, a couple, well, last summer. I didn't use it this year because I just didn't have time to add everything in the programming. But I'm probably going to make, I don't know, like four more of these with the extra pixels I picked up. So they may be GECEs, but these are these are just, just standard flatback pixels that I got out of the Pixel Starter Kit last year. So let me grab the controller and a power supply because they have short cord. And I'm just going to, I'm, I'm just going to push this button that says mode and, uh, you can see on the tree what it'll look like. So there's green, and then there's blue, and then you have like a strobe. I don't think that's going to go over too well. A second kind of strobe. Uh, a, a quick fade from one color to the next. Then this has the six color fade quickly. And then this is this is kind of like the butterfly effect that uh, is a nutcracker. I like this, but it's all like pastel color. And then this is, and I can't believe that I have the exact pixel count to make it look like it's it's doing like the bars or something from Nutcracker, but that's what it looks like in that um, configuration. By the way, so you know there's seven pixels per strip, so there's 49 pixels total, but seven pixels per uh, run. And then this actually looks like bars. I did not plan this. This is this is just funny. Uh, red bars. I think it switches backwards to reverse bars or a spiral. Then we have green, and then reverse green, and then we have blue, reverse blue. And then this is this is kind of pretty. It looks like spirals but it's it's the exact color it's kind of like butterfly i guess it, it's more of a multicolor spiral i thought this would be nice on a tree if the pixels weren't perfectly lined up and this is the same type only with more colors and then this is kind of odd to pick up you really don't see the pattern but it's like it's like there's three different colors there's like red a pink and a very light pink red and they're chasing each other strip by strip around the tree and now they just reversed I think and then you have green with green yellow and like a lighter green doing the same thing and here's aqua and then a darker blue with some purple and then you have blue here and then this looks pretty neat with the strips the way I did them and this is like green and red and yellow all together, so this is pretty. And then we have the solid colors. I think it's red and now green and blue. Then it goes through the other colors. Oh no, now we're back to the beginning. So there's a there's a quick video of the different presets. There's actually one, if, if I let them uh, uh, sit long enough, there's actually one. Oh, there we go. Uh, this is, these are all the different colors. I just push it and I'm cycling through them. Um, but I can't remember what mode it is without the paper. That if you select it, it goes through continuously through each and every single different cycle. And it does it non-stop until you push the mode button again. So now this is back to the beginning. So that, that's an idea of what you're, what you're going to be able to use this controller to do on a tree. Okay? Alright, we'll catch you later.